Good morning, everybody. This is Holly, and um, this is video, I think, number four. And um, I would decided today I would uh, film a little bit of Emily. I know it's onesie Wednesday, but Emily only has like quarter hands and quarter feet. So everything I dress her in has to be long sleeves and long pants. Um, but uh, I thought, well, technically this is a onesie. It's an all-in-one piece suit. Um, it's, I think, um, uh, perfect or by perfect nature or something to that effect. And uh, anyway, it's a lovely little uh, off-white suit with a pretty little dragonfly on in uh, blue. And um, I guess this is a sort of a light purple um, color. And the hat she's wearing was actually knitted by my daughter um, when she found out I was going to get a newborn, which hasn't come yet, or reborn, not a newborn, reborn. Um, but she hasn't come yet. I'm still waiting for her. Hopefully she'll be here by my birthday, um, which is um, September 8th. Anyway, she knitted this lovely little lilac colored um, hat and uh, even though it's not quite the same color, I thought it'd be cute on her with this outfit. And um, I also wanted to come and do uh, Debbie's tag from Mad Hatter DJ. And I apologize for the shaking camera. For some reason, my um, tablet does not, when I put it on the tripod, it blocks the microphone. So you can see a steady picture, but then you wouldn't be able to hear me. So I'm having to hold it. But uh, anyway, this is Emily, and she's sporting her little long onesie for Onesie Wednesday. Um, and for Debbie's uh, of Mad Hatter DJ's tag, uh, when she first mentioned she was going to do a tag and what your, your dream thing would be, the first thing I thought of was a baby carriage, which I think in England y'all call them prams, and we call them carriages. Um, my firstborn son... Uh, who is now 36. We had one for him. It was borrowed, but it was so cool to walk him around in that little pram and uh, or carriage as we call them. I believe it was a dark navy blue. And uh, I have a picture of it somewhere of my great aunt pushing him in that carriage, but um, of course I'd have to dig that out. I can't find it right now. But anyway, um, I would love to have uh, a nice baby carriage. I think they're so much nicer and more comfortable for a baby than a, than a stroller. Um, although I did notice that the stroller that um, Ines from This Old Piggy 41 had on her video that um, it actually lays down nice, sort of like a, a baby bed. So that would be the next best thing, I guess. But... Um, you're right, Debbie. It takes up a lot of space, and it's very expensive, so I don't see me getting one. And uh, So I thought, well, the next best thing I would want then would be a nursery. Because right now, my nursery consists of my guest room, and whenever I have guests come over, I have to move everything out of here. And that's a lot of babies and a lot of stuff. Um, and it has to move into my room where there is no room. So uh, I think my next thing would be a nursery. I know Annie showed us her new nursery, uh, and it was so cute and so pretty. So I'm thinking maybe I have two guest rooms, and uh, I'm thinking about maybe turning one into a nursery eventually, especially if I get all my porcelain dolls down. But anyway, this is Emily sporting her outfit. So I would say my, my big thing would be either a baby carriage or a nursery, and probably the nursery would come first. So, also, I wanted to show y'all um, my other little baby here. She's the oldest baby I have. Let's see if I can get her. I'm sorry about the lighting. Um, I don't have direct sunlight in my house, and it makes Emily look very shiny in here and sort of a little darker than she normally is. But this is an antique baby from the early 1900s. Um, so she's probably 100 uh, years old or so. And she has the 
go to sleep eyes, which the paint on her eyes is, has started peeling off, so she kind of looks really creepy and spooky when she's shutting her eyes. But I believe she's called the Bilo Baby. And um, she is by Armand Marseilles. And you have his AM, I don't know if you can see it, right there. Armand Marseilles. And he was uh, born in Russia but moved to Germany. And that's where he acquired his, his um, doll factory. And, and he produced a lot of dolls. And I believe, I said one time she was porcelain, but I believe it's bisque. That she's made of bisque. And she has uh, composite hands, which, as you can see, are very old and cracked. But I think they are called composite hands. And probably uh, Delightful Babies would probably know more about this than I would, since she knows so much about babies. But um, you can see she's very old, but she still has her original stockings on. And I'm sorry, that's my grandson. But she has her stockings on. You can see she's got a very old body. I'm sorry. I'm trying to do this one-handed. But um, she's very aged. She's got a cloth body with composite hands. But she's extremely very old. But that's my Bilo baby. And um, I looked it up. If I'm not mistaken, uh, she is called Phyllis, baby Phyllis. So that is Phyllis. And that is Emily, and this is Sawyer. Say hi. Hi. Here, let me see this. Can you say hi, everybody? Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. I want to see. You want to see? Okay, well, I'll show you in a minute. Okay, so this is Holly, and um, y'all have a wonderful Wednesday, and I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope I didn't make you sick or dizzy by moving it around. But, um... Anyway, I wanted to participate in something, so it's kind of a onesie Wednesday, and then Debbie's tag. So, y'all take care. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye. Say bye, Sawyer. Bye. Okay. <laughs> this is Dad, too. This is